when the dog bites and the bee stings <laughs> when i'm feeling sad i simply remember my favorite things and then i don't feel so bad yes <laughs> Y'all, Luther Vandross be hitting during Christmas. No one can tell me nothing, okay? <laughs> what is good, everyone? What is good? I'm back, okay? And I'm coming back with a bang. <laughs> we are doing a new series on my channel called 12 Days of Christmas. Usually y'all hear about Vlogmas, okay? But you know, Vlogmas doesn't really work out with my schedule, you know what I mean? So I couldn't do it. But I'm gonna be giving y'all new videos every day for 12 days until Christmas. <laughs> Today's video is going to be about this look. One thing I'm doing and I'm trying to make a habit is stepping outside my comfort zone when it comes to makeup. I rarely do some cut creases and I rarely do graphic eyeliner. Tell me why I decided to do both of those in this video today. This is very icy, wifey look. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> this video is containing uh, updates, a voiceover, and a makeup tutorial. Get into it, three in one, honey. Three in one. <laughs> Why is my hand like this? <laughs> so let's get to it. Let's get to it, okay? So if you think the melanin is popping, you know what to do. You gotta keep on watching. I wanted to do something, you know, very Christmassy, blue, but very simple. I got a couple products that I wanted to try from Amazon. Today is my day to try them out. So I always have to stick with the one and only Jackie Ina palette. Let's use this color right here. And that is called Ginger. I'm just gonna put Ginger on my crease and then blend that out. But should I update? I wanted to give y'all a little updating date. Well, update, why not? So as y'all know, I'm doing my 12 days of Christmas. Uh -huh. I'm so excited, y'all. I'm so excited. Oh, my lips are kind of dry. Where's the lip gloss? Y'all know I always use the one and only. That is the Rimmel London. Stay glossy. Bring them back to life. The wide awake. <laughs> I'm going to take my little tape. I use this Next Care Gentle Paper Tape. I just feel like this works the best. This tape, the light is just shining so bright. But this tape is so good. I can also put a, a picture of it with Google but you can get it at any of your local drugstores. And I just like it because it's paper tape. So it comes out like paper. It's not like regular tape. It's made out of paper. So it doesn't, you know, pull that harshly on your skin. And we all know the under eyes, honey, baby, the under eyes is very thin skin. So we do not, okay, we do not want to irritate that. The less sticky the tape, the better it is for your skin, especially under your eyes. Y'all, I'm just happy to still be alive. And for all my loved ones to be alive, thriving, and living their life. 
that they're all healthy because they need this year because a lot of people out here are really suffering. So, you know, I thank God that we are all okay. So I kind of want to deepen this up. I want to take, let's see what I can find. This video is very random. Well, the look isn't random, but my talking is very random. So I'm going to be jumping back and forth, back and forth, excuse me, to so many things. So keep up, honey. Tap, tap, tap in. I know that's right. <laughs> So I'm taking my Birds of Paradise uh, palettes. Y'all will know what color I use. I'm gonna do a cute little graphic with it. So I'm gonna go in with Macau, this blue. I just wanna deepen that up with some blue. I'm just trying to make this year end it on a good note. I know it looks a little crazy now, but look a little whack now, but trust me, it'll look better. I'm drawing it down all the way to my inner tear duct, all the way back out. See, what else should we chat about? Let's be some chatty patties. <laughs> y'all, it's so funny, okay. So let me just give y'all a little, a little tea, why don't I? Let's give y'all some tea. On my last video, well, not my last video, but on my last, you know, chit chat, chit chat, get ready with me. I was talking about how, you know, I was happy for Alyssa forever for finding somebody. And I was like, you know what? I wanna manifest someone. <laughs> okay, I was basically like, <laughs> let me manifest someone. So, you know, let me try to like think of something that can possibly work with me. Just taking that same color and putting it on my under eye too. Anyway, back to the tea. I have to say this again because I got too caught up in the makeup. On my last chit chat, get ready with me. I was basically saying how I, you know, I'm happy for Alyssa forever for finding her mans. So, so, <laughs> I started working on myself a little bit more. Not like I wasn't before, okay? We're always trying to grow. We're always about progression, growth, all that stuff, all that stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was basically like, you know, you can't say you want someone that has A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and you don't have that as well. Hmm. Started you know, taking my own advice for once, cause you know your girl usually doesn't. <laughs> I mean, I can admit it, okay. And then, you know, someone came along. So, just say I'm happy, okay. All right, so. Not gonna lie, I get a little flustered when I start talking about these things. But like I said, y'all are my homies, okay? Y'all my homies. So I gotta let y'all know when things are going good. I can't always just let y'all know when things are going bad. <laughs> so next, I'm gonna go with my, I'm gonna go in with my NYX Ultimate. I'm trying to go for more of an icier color. It's like a dark blue icy color. Then I'm going to take an even smaller blender brush so I can get really in my crease. Just a tad bit. And I want to make like a cute little design with it. So I'm going to go take it up. I'm going to take it up as well to where this blue color was. There you go. One time for the blending. And you want to take that down to my mirror. Mirror, mirror. I like to look down on my mirror and make sure I'm really getting in and blending out that crease. You know what I mean? Make sure we're not losing that pale blue that we had before. And the focal point of this look is going to be the 
eyeliner that I put on top of it. Like I said, I just want to deepen this up with the blue. Okay, y'all. Now it's time to cut this crease. LA Girl Pro Concealer. And this is the color Biscuit. I want to do a design. So... Are y'all seeing what I'm doing? So I basically just draw the line. Ooh, that was a lot easier than I thought. Let me not jinx myself. There you go. Yes, okay. Get into her, get into her. You like her, you like her, I do too. <laughs> One thing that's really been helping me with cut creases is using an actual paintbrush set. So I got this from Amazon. It's been working a lot. This brush does wonders. It draws the line perfectly. Let me see if there's any hot topics that we'd like to cover. Oh, that whole thing with that one place, that kitchen place. Uh, what was it? Crock pot and chicken. <laughs> I forgot the name of it. It's like something cocktails. Like, <sighs> y'all, I can't remember the name of the place. But basically, when the owner came out and told the girls to stop twerking and didn't sit on the tables and doing all that stuff. I invested a lot of money into buying this building, into developing this concept so black people can have somewhere nice to go to, okay? Somewhere where we can feel good about ourselves as a... The one! Stop the music, please! Somewhere where our people can feel good about ourselves as a culture, okay? Yeah. No, no, real talk. And so all this twerking and shit, take it to Prime, take it to Pink, don't bring it here because we're a restaurant. And so beyond that, 75% of my customers are ladies. And I'm on men to show respect for themselves for how they carry themselves here. So how can I tell the men to respect themselves and you guys are twerking on glass here? If you want to do it, get the out of my restaurant. Because I did it for our people and I did it for our culture. So don't do it, no, don't do it again. I don't want to hear it. If you don't like it, get out because I don't need your money. I need to pr provide something for my people. And don't do it again. Thank you. With that story, honestly, y'all, I might have an unpopular opinion. I'm just going in with Sole right here. I don't know. I was listening to The Breakfast Club, and they were talking about how, like, the guy told them several times, Ooh, that looks pretty. Ooh, that looks pretty. That looks really pretty. He told the woman several times to stop twerking. So, I mean... If the owner came up to you, because I feel like that was a part that they they left out about the whole thing. The owner actually went up to these women and told them to stop twerking. And they didn't want to stop twerking, so that's when he got a little rowdy. Yes, he was a little extra with his delivery, talking about how, you know, he's telling the fellas, that they need to come in here and respect themselves with the ladies and respecting themselves just a little bit, just a little bit. He didn't have to go into detail talking about how respect yourself and stuff like that. But I do understand where his frustration was coming from. But, you know, they were playing throw that ass in a circle. Throw that ass in a circle. So I'm like, I don't know. If you're playing that song, you're going to want to throw that ass. So, <laughs> I honestly feel like people are going too hard on the owner. Because he did tell the girl to stop. I'm going to say it again. He did tell the girl to stop prior. And she kept on twerking and dancing on the glass. And if something breaks, who going to catch that lawsuit? Him. He going to catch it. And if she want to sue, it's going to fall back on him. So... Just know, if someone tells you to stop, just stop, okay? If someone tells you to stop, just stop. 
it's called true something in cocktails that part but i bet y'all already watched enough commentary and already talked enough about this about what happened in conclusion i feel like you know the owner had the right to say what he said he did put a little bit too much sauce on it talking about how what the fellas have to do about women respecting themselves that girl was just doing the most when she was told not to do the most and to stop doing the most period 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 period, period. 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 And y'all leave in the comments down below if you disagree with me or not, you know, we can discuss. We can have some banter about it. So next, I want to try this eyeliner that I bought. Um, I got it from Amazon. I'll have it linked. Is this a blue or a purple? I think this is a blue. Ooh, y'all. I want to use blue, but I don't know what color. They're like liquid colored eyeliners. They're from Handy Ant, Hand Diane. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Hand Diane. <laughs> this is the same Amazon seller and Amazon brand that I got my glitter eyeliners from so same people they make good stuff they make good stuff okay this is the good stuff <laughs> okay y'all so these are the swatches of um the darker blue and the lighter blue i think i'm gonna go with the darker darker blue y'all oh i'm so scared like anytime because this look already looks so good we can do this so i'm going to use i'm going to use this color right here Okay, you can't see it too, too much. I feel like you have to just go in. Ooh! I'm on the fold. I don't know how this looks. I'm scared. I don't think it looks cute. <laughs> no. Oh gosh, y'all. Hello there, it's Future Azuka speaking to you in the present while you're watching this. Hey, hey friends. <laughs> Basically y'all, this was really hard to do. Honestly, the precision you need to do this is like to another level. I really did struggle with this. And later on you'll see I have to go back and clean it up with some concealer. It was just a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. I don't know y'all, I don't know. Shout out to I am Zoe. You know I love me some I am Zoe. Shout out to him. But yeah, y'all, this is my first time ever trying graphic eyeliner with this intense of a cut crease. So you know, expected your first time trying something, you're gonna struggle a little bit. Another tip I would like to give y'all, just in general, if you are doing graphic eyeliner, is to use a different, more precise brush with the eyeliner, I guess. Um, put the eyeliner on a separate like pan and then use a different brush to get more precision because I feel like the brush that came with this was quite tricky to maneuver. So, you know, learn from me. Do better, honeys, okay? Just clean it up a little bit. Oh, the struggle. The struggle. Why is this so hard? Okay, y'all. I think I'm good with that side. Let me try the other side. Ooh. Like I said, you know, I'm not the, I'm still trying to learn the technique of this, but I'm gonna go back with my Pro Concealer and clean this line up. So y'all, that was kind of a fail. So I went in with this blue <laughs> glitter to put that and line that on top to make it cut a little bit more and make it look way better because it was not given what was supposed to be given. When all else fails, y'all just put glitter on top. 
literally that was a struggle let's move on let's go baby it's cold outside i'm gonna take these off yes look at that line we love to see a good line yes so y'all we're getting down to the wire i'm basically taking that same blue eyeliner and i'm winging it out on the bottom to create more of a graphic look and i'm doing that with both eyes and while you all are listening to me don't forget to subscribe to my channel you know because i give you quality content you know come on you know you want to join the family so why not come on so I'm just gonna put on my liquid eyeliner. Y'all won't believe how cheap this eyeliner was. It's actually a dollar from the dollar store, but I like it because it's very opaque. It's very dark and nice, and it gives a little sheen, you know what I mean? My usual, my Milliqui lashes. So I'm using my Tent Adult Ultra from Lancome Concealer. This concealer is super full coverage. I love it. And as you can tell, I'm speeding past the face makeup because, you know, we all know how that goes. The usual one, two step. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just applying that on and then just blending it out with my foundation, flat foundation brush, just to make sure everything is well and adhesed. You know, everything has to blend, honey. It has to blend. We have to blend. I'm going in with my Fit Me Powder in the color Dark. Yes, I love this powder when it comes to just contouring. That's what I'm doing. But also, I'm bringing back the color in my face. We don't want to be flat with that color that we put under our eyes. So we want to make sure that the chocolate, okay, is still popping. So I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Treats blush palette in that nice little light red color. Ooh, it just looks so good. I just had to bring some color to my cheeks. You know I had to add a little bling bling. <laughs> oh, just me being me. <laughs> But yeah, I used eyelash glue to put these gems on and this was the final step. Yeah, we're done, we're done. Finally, like I'm happy that it turned out well. It's just all a learning process. It really is a learning process. Honestly, I don't do cut creases like to the max. I don't do graphic eyeliner to the max. And you know, I did both of those with this look and I'm very surprised that I pulled it off. <laughs> And you know, I sprinkled, just sprinkled a little bit of, you know, of an update, life update into this. Thank you so much for making it to the end of it. So make sure y'all stay tuned for all 12 days. <laughs> Join the family, like tap, click the subscribe button down below. Give this video a like if you liked it, okay? And I will see you throughout these whole 12 days. Okay, and many more. Peace. Uh, pride's gonna be the death of me. Hold up. Wait, you know you gotta guard your energy. Your energy. You can't match my